What's up, guys? It's Motorboy here coming to you guys with another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are going to look at a Town Hall 9 perfect war. It finally happened, guys. We got our perfect, uh, our first perfect war. I don't think we've ever gotten it versus 10v10, 30 stars. We might have. I might have to check on that. But, um, not recently. Anyways, I know this one is our one of our first perfect wars and our, definitely our first 15v15 uh, perfect war. So, we had a smash, three pretty strong Town Hall 9s. And basically the rest eights and a couple of weaker like sixes and sevens, sevens and sixes. So I'm just gonna show you some of these strong these tags. Chuck takes out number one. I think he used four he uses four quakes. Now first of all, one thing to look at this base is right here and right here, it's this core is completely not blocked off with anything. And there's just a, there's a, just a big cons or a big like a uh, high volume of walls that are on this bottom over here. So that's where he's gonna put his quakes. And he's just got three golems and just a standard uh, go white with uh, four quakes, which is pretty interesting. So he's gonna drop his quakes first, and he's gonna open up that base. And yeah, there really wasn't a you really didn't need eight quakes for this one. It, that is just plenty. That's plenty enough right there. But he's just gonna get his three golems in there and just his wizards behind. Uh, taking out all the defenses. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. Because i got a lot of stuff to go through. So he drops a heal. The clan castle comes out. And then he's going to... He does drop another heal, which is kind of unnecessary. Uh, they, they are going to be healed faster. But then he drops his uh, rage. So he kind of did mess up on the heal spells a little bit. But nevertheless, he just destroys this base. So he gets his uh, heroes in there. They're making their way. And he's got a huge clump of wizards. Probably 15 some odd wizards in the core. Smashing those Teslas, and that is actually really important. Taking out the Teslas really fast and keeping your wizards alive is huge for uh, the Pekas, but I think the Pekas got melted by those uh, level 7 Teslas. So his queen went off to the side, but that's okay because she can shoot over walls, and then he's got all his his Pekas, and basically all his stuff just started from this left-hand side. Didn't matter which way they went, they just completely smashed it. So he's still got his Archer Queen ability left. And still got, I think one of the good things about this attack was it was a perfect uh, option to use the four earthquakes. But all, a lot of his wizards stayed alive, especially in the core. But they started dying off at the end. But in the core, because his, um, his mortars were not in good places. Like, they, there's no splash damage hitting them, so it was fine. So now he's just got to clean up a little bit. He doesn't have much left, to be honest. But it was a pretty strong base with rocking all nine walls and some tens. Complete, pretty much maxed out. Actually, yeah, it was defensively maxed out. But yeah, he just smashed it. So, I'm going to check another replay. So, this is a three star. With three Pekkas, which is kind of interesting. I usually just use two. I don't really have this troop space for it. But this attack is by me on number two. I think I knew where the... Wait, what did I do here? Oh, so I basically did a go wipe with... Uh, some back end hogs. This is pretty interesting because his heroes are a lot stronger than mine, but I still was able to three star with a uh, four quakes. So you see right here, I actually noticed that there was a there's a double giant spot, j double giant bomb spot right here because from a, a second or from someone else who attacked it before. So I was thinking that I should uh, try probably detonate those with my uh, kill squad. So uh, what I did is I took the earthquakes and put them here, and after I opened that up. It literally um, went right or opened a, a funnel right into the core. So we're going to see what exactly happens here. And then right in this upper area, Tesla's actually pop right here. So there's a lot of, there's a good amount of defenses here. So that's where I started dropping my hogs. But I have three golems coming in right now. One in the clan castle, which is a max golem. Then I just funnel on the outside. And then I drop my uh, quakes so they can go in. I get my king in there because I know he's going to go in the center. My two peckas go down quick. And then some extra wizards. I think in my archer queen. So all my stuff goes in the middle. That giant bomb comes out. And here comes the clan castle. So I'm going to rage these guys up. And then these two heals are going to be for my hogs. So I'm going to drop. Or I drop a giant to a uh, tank. And then I just get my hogs in here. Kind of surgically a little bit. But not but not entirely. So they're, they're coming from the top. And then I'm going to place this heal right here. So they're going to get through that. So they're going to work their way down. While the kill squad's in the center just destroying it. So I still have one heal left, and about six hogs maybe, maybe maybe seven hogs, 
And then uh, I still got my heroes and one golem and a couple wizards left. So these hawks are just going to continue making their way down. And I'm going to wait on the heal because there's nothing really attacking them right now. There's no really need to heal except right now. And then they re reflect back off to the wizard tower so they get uh, healed up, especially with that splash damage. And they're going to take out these bases. And I think uh, I, I'm actually left with more hogs at the end. So then I started just dropping a couple more cleanup troops. But these hogs literally started up the top, and they literally have taken out so many defenses. Only 11 hogs with two heals took out probably half the defenses. And they're still alive. They're gonna st A couple of them are going to stay alive, and they haven't even been healed for a long time. So I think I basically use my uh, hero abilities right now because there's no really need to uh, use them. Or just, just to get more cleanup troops and more DPS out there. So that's basically it right there. So there are a lot of go wipes, a lot of no really air attacks in this war. It's just not not too consistent, especially I don't have level two uh, lava hounds. So that's a great way to just uh, use eleven hogs just just to make a a go wipe a three star strategy. Let's see here. I also attacked this base. This was my first attack. So this is uh. This base is a lot weaker. I'm just gonna show it though. Uh, it's basically a go white or um, a go ho. I'm I ba I'm basically gonna just put uh, two golems up on this top, take out that archer queen, and then drop a a, a, a haste for the clan castle when it comes out, and then a, a jump spell so they can get into the core. And then my three heals are for the twenty six hogs. So I lure out the CC, get them down. Just standard lure. All right, so I get my two golems there, and I don't have any. I don't open up the. Okay. Oh, I did open up with the wall breaker. So I get my stuff inside. So they're basically just gonna go just for the queen, and then I'm gonna drop a jump pretty soon here. Yep, right there. So those are gonna make their way inside, and then I just get my. I think I drop a giant because there's three like, there's three um point defenses right there so that giant is going to be tanking perfectly and then i'm not even going to need to heal for a while so i just have 26 hogs going in they completely smash the base heal might have been a little too early i could have like placed it a little bit more in front and then some of them kind of go in the center but they're being healed from that giant bomb so yeah these uh double giant or these bomb placements weren't that great so i just healed accordingly wherever the defenses were and wherever the hogs were going is where i'm going to heal at and they're healing all through the bombs, which is perfect. That's what you want. And I didn't do it surgically because uh, it was all single bombs. So that's something you want to take into account. And I just uh, used the invisibility cloak on the queen. So it wasn't really needed, but she's going to take out the town hall. And then they're just going to finish this. So I'm really proud of my uh, my squad. You know, getting the 45 stars, perfect war, first perfect war. We were, like, typing up in the chat all night. So... But if you guys like the video, make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I stream on Twitch, which is Monerboat, M-O-N-E-R-B-O-A-T. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.